Hey, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. Um, I believe, yeah, it's been like nine, ten months since I last uploaded, which was the Laravel course, which, yes, I did sort of ditch it halfway, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, but for now, I just want to talk about what's next on this channel. So this video is the introductory video for a new course I'm doing. It's the Bootstrap 4 course. Now, Bootstrap 3 was like super popular on my channel. In fact, most of you actually came to my channel from the Bootstrap 3 course. So like that did well over sort of one and a half, two million views, the whole course in total. Like the first video alone has 675,000 views. Um, so clearly it's quite in demand. So my Bootstrap 4 course is a very similar format, just updated to the latest version of Bootstrap. Quite a bit has changed, but at the same time, a lot of the sort of key components are the same. Um, but this course is really going to walk you through all the changes and all the main components. So it's structured very similar to the documentation and structured very similar to the last course as well, uh, where I will walk you through all the main comp components. So things like nav bars, the grid system, forms, list groups, uh, pretty much anything important. Um, and I hope that a lot of you like that. You liked that in the previous course. So uh, I'm sort of repeating that again, but up to date for Bootstrap 4. Um, now this course was recorded on a platform called Scrimba. Um, and I'll show you what Scrimba is if you haven't heard of it. I've mentioned it before on the channel. Uh, Scrimba is a platform for teaching and for learning. Uh, it's very similar to, the best way to describe it is a video um, crossed over with uh, JS Fiddle. So JS Fiddle, if you don't know, lets you, um, it's a way of sharing code and playing around with it in the browser. So uh, Scrimba is effectively a video, but I talk and I waffle on about whatever for ages but you can hit pause you can stop listening to me and you can edit the code yourself so if you ever have one of those sort of curious moments where you think hmm, why has he done it this way why did he add this class in and if i haven't explained it you can go and see for yourself you can edit the code you can do whatever you want with it um, run it yourself in the browser to test it and then when you're finished you can hit play again and carry on listening to whatever i have to say and that's the really cool thing about it i'm not I sort of came off the whole idea of learning from videos and that's why I stopped teaching really because I don't really believe that watching videos straight is the way to learn. I feel like the way to learn, as, as I've always said on this channel, is to uh, come up with a little project and get stuck, go on Stack Overflow, find an answer, fix it, and then get stuck again. And that's really this industry. You, uh, the whole job and the whole career is to sort of get stuck and then find solutions. It is a research job, to be honest. And I always felt like videos didn't really aid that. Videos just told you what to do. You write what you see and then you go, yep, I'm happy. That's That was it. But Scrimba lets you sort of, it lets you have that curiosity. It lets you have that sort of interaction with the code and do whatever edits you want and you learn that way. So I do really like it. Um, full disclosure, I was paid to make this course on Scrimba. It's not really an advertising deal. It was just to uh, pay to make some content for their site. I don't know if I have to disclose that under advertising laws, but I'm pretty happy to be transparent about that anyway. So you go to scrimba.com and you will see they've just had a redesign of their website, all looking quite nice. Popular instructors, there's me right at the top. It's uh, always quite reassuring to know you're the top of the list when it comes to popularity, uh, not quite the same in real life. Um, but there I am. You can just click on my name and I created this course. It's called the Learn Bootstrap 4 course and when you click on it you can go in there and you'll see I did 10 videos including an a, uh, introduction. So if you want to watch it on Scrimba you can watch it there but I'm also uploading it to YouTube just uploading the same things on YouTube you just lose out on the interactivity but the choice is yours. You can watch it on Scrimba, on YouTube or just not at all and you'll see that some of the feedback I've got on this course so far is really good and I'm so thankful for that. So anyways, I'm going to stop waffling on about that. Bootstrap 4 course, next couple of days. Watch it on Scrimba right now. Watch it on YouTube next couple of days. Sorted. Uh, the next and final point I want to talk about is uh, Laravel. So the Laravel course, as you can see on my channel, kind of got ditched, uh, along with most other things I do on this channel, to be quite honest. Uh, I also started this sort of, uh, some people would call it vlogging, when I went to LA last year. Um, I tried to do videos about sort of the entrepreneurial side of, of this job of programming uh, where I was doing like freelance and whatever. Uh, I kind of, as you can see, I sort of ditched that as well. It just didn't feel right. Um, I'm still, yeah, it seems crazy. Like five years later, I've been doing this channel for five, six years now, and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with it. 
still totally lost, but this bootstrap course is here in the meantime. Uh, but with Laravel, I, I use Laravel every day as part of my job. I use it on all my projects as well and uh, projects I do for other people. Um, I do really like it, but the issue I had was I started teaching it and then it got updated. So I think I was teaching it in 5.3 or 5.4 and we're in 5.6 now. Um, and I just got fed up of the fact that I'd record videos and they'd go out of date within months. So, and also I'm just recording pretty much the documentation. I was just teaching the basics like routes, controllers, templates, models, databases, and all of that. I am, I really want to carry on. I really want to do some more Laravel stuff, but I want some feedback on this. I'm thinking of either doing a big project, almost like a startup project, where I go from planning, like all the way from paper, and go through the planning stages and the design stages, all in Photoshop and all that, through to um, laying out the code and doing the front end, back end, through to deployment and then scaling and all of that stuff. I'm quite keen to do a big course when I get the time where I show you how to go from absolutely zero to a full Laravel project. Um, that's the idea. Let me know what you think about that. I'm also thinking about doing a few uh, sort of shorter videos, like one-off videos, where I go through some composer packages, which I use, things like uh, Auth0, um, what's the other one? It's the uh, Pusher, which is for sort of like some real-time stuff, and uh, maybe a few other packages that I can think of. I'm sure there's many others I use. Uh, so like a, a package showcase almost. Um, so let me know about what you think about that as well. Um, but anyway, this video is getting long now, so I'm going to cut this off here. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited for the Bootstrap 4 course, and I hope you'll stick around for that.